Hi guys, this is Miss Gold. Today's lesson is Module 3, Lesson 8, Properties of Inequalities. Your outcomes for today's lesson are students justify the properties of inequality that are denoted by less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. In example one, we're going to take a look at a series of die rolls. And essentially we have die one and die two and an inequality statement. But then we're going to do an operation to that inequality. And we're going to see if, when we do that operation, if the inequality is preserved, meaning the statement is still true, or if the symbol needs to be reversed to make the statement true, meaning that the statement we get in the beginning is false. Preserves means to maintain. So this means the symbol of the inequality will stay the same. If our statement ends up being false, we would need to reverse the inequality to make it true. And so this means the symbol will flip. And when I mean symbol, I'm talking about the inequality. So let's go through our table here. We have die one has rolled this series of numbers and die two has rolled this series of numbers. And we have these inequalities, a mixture of less than or greater than. So the first one I have is the operation of add two. So we're gonna add two to both these numbers. So for the first one, I will get negative one is less than seven. Now, negative one is less than seven. This is a true statement. And so our inequality is preserved. In the second rule, we are going to subtract three. So from each of these numbers, we're going to subtract three. So for the first one, I get five minus three is two. We have a symbol of greater than and two minus three is negative one. So my final statement is two is greater than negative one. Well, two is greater than negative one, so this is a true statement. So again, the inequality is preserved. For the third rule, we are going to divide by negative one. So for the first one, negative divided by negative is a positive, so we get three is less than and four divided by negative one is negative four. So if we take a look at this statement, it says three is less than negative four. That is false. So in order to make this true, we're going to need to flip or reverse the inequality. The next one says to multiply by one half. So negative two times one half is negative one. We have a symbol of greater than. And negative four times one half is negative two. So our statement says negative one is greater than negative two, which is a true statement. So our inequality is again preserved. Finally, we're asked to multiply by negative two. So here we have three times negative two is negative six, a symbol of greater than, and negative two times negative two is positive four. So if we read this statement, it says negative six is greater than four, which is a false statement. To make that true, we would need to flip our inequality, so this one is reversed. So I want you to focus on the two that we had to reverse. Notice that what we were doing was dividing by negative one and multiplying by negative two. On all the other ones, we could add, subtract, or multiply by a positive, and they were all preserved. So if you think about it, the common element here is it has to be multiplication or division by a negative two will cause you to have to flip your inequality to keep the statement true. And so this is really the main rule that we're going to need 
for solving inequalities. There's really no difference between solving equations and solving inequalities except for this one rule. When solving inequalities, the only operation that will reverse the inequality is multiplication or division only by a negative number. So going back, I just want you to notice here that just because there is a negative involved, like in this case right here, we had a negative number involved, but that's not what we were choosing to multiply each of the sides of the inequality by. We were multiplying by a positive one half, so that doesn't qualify for this rule. In this lesson, you learned that when both sides of an inequality are added or subtracted by a number, the inequality symbol stays the same and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. When both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a positive number, the inequality also stays the same and it's said to be preserved. But when both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a negative number, the inequality symbol switches from less than to greater than or from greater than to less than, meaning the inequality symbol is reversed.